making it is a sweet, funny, and incredibly creative competition. A show where we bring makers from all over the United States and hopefully eventually the world to join us here um, at our fake barn. <laughs> no, to join us here and um, make stuff together. So it's a show that's celebrating um, not only the the creative people who make things in their garage and in their basement and on the weekends, but also the artistry that comes from um, fashioning things with your hands. And Nick and I serve as the hosts. We get to be a witness to all the incredible work that's being done. Amy and Nick are obviously the hosts, and we are the judges because they wanted people that had expertise, and we managed to delude them into thinking that was us. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Etsy trend expert, so what that really means is that every day I am combing through Etsy to see what's hot, what's trending, what's new, and then comparing it to the outside world trends and see how they kind of come together. My specialty is really window display, and that's something I've been doing for many decades. And um, the thing about window display is you often have to make the props, so there's nothing I haven't fabricated or put in a window clay, paper mache, decoupage, um, the whole gamut. It is competitive naturally because somebody does go home at the end of each episode, but we're not interested in setting people up to fail or sort of exploiting their failure when it happens, but instead it's celebrating the fact that anyone would want to use their hands and creativity to make something rather than go online and go shopping. or or yell at their kids or play video games. And <laughs> the episode kicks off with the, the faster craft, the faster challenge. The faster challenge, each maker is given three hours to create something, um, whatever that particular theme may be for the episode, and Simon and I will walk in to see the completed project of the faster challenge, and then we award them with a wonderful patch, and we can get into the patch later. And then in the second half of the episode, it's about the master challenge. The master challenge, the makers are given 12 hours to complete this project, and this time it's consisting of two pieces. So it's gotta, it's gotta tell a cohesive story, and Simon and I actually get the opportunity to do drop-ins and see them through their making process and see the final outcome as well. I'm always trying to find a reason to hang out with Nick, and um, which is true. And you know, our experience working together on Parks and our experience as a cast is really still very special. So the fact that I get, we, I mean, at least a couple times a day, we kind of look at each other and laugh because we get to be together again. And you can't believe we've tricked NBC in a, <laughs> to paying us. Um, but um, let's keep that between <laughs> us. For a while. No, but um, the the idea um, came from wanting frankly, to make a show that celebrated everybody from a person like myself who's very, very tentative about creating things to a person like Nick who has his own wood shop and crafts beautiful things and making a show for them. This show, I think, is for people who want to be inspired to make things. It's also just for people who want to watch people make things. It's also for people who just want to watch us goof around. Someone can watch this show and say, you know what? I can do that, and they they show they mapped out how this can be done, and I can attempt this and make it either by myself with a group of friends or with my family, and that's what I hope we we hope to do is really inspire people to get their hands busy and put down the electronics and bring back that resurgence of making and using your hands. This is this is an important new um, movement that's happening across America. And it's going to be crystallized in this show. That's where you want to go. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you really, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to put it on with 